Good morning everyone. Welcome to the class of Microwave and Radar Engineering. This is code number KEC074 and this is lecture number 16. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the microwave tubes and in the last lecture, we have discussed the discussed about the limitations of the vacuum tubes at the high microwave frequencies and we have discussed the two-way, uh, two-cavity microwave, uh, two-cavity cholesterol. Now, in the today's lecture, we will discuss the reflex cholesterol and this reflex cholesterol is also a microwave source generator. It is microwave source generator which is ranges from 10 to 500 milliwatt output and at a frequency of 1 to 25 gigahertz. It is also a microwave source generator. And in the it is when it is a microwave source generator, so it ranges from 1 to 25 gigahertz and output power is 10 to 500 milliwatt. So and it, therefore it is a low power generator. It is generally used at the laboratories, security radars also. <coughs> the electronic efficiency is about 20 to 30 percent. And it is what in in the two cavity cholesterol there are two cavities and in the reflex cholesterol there is a it is a one cavity clear so it consists of mainly of electronic cathode gun which releases the electrons anode which main focus is to focusing of electro uh, fo as a um, focusing electrode resonant cavity repeller plate output coupling and the <coughs> accelerant DC voltage of the anode and the cavity and repeller voltage repeller negative voltage of 100 to 1000 watt volt okay now what is the mechanism of oscillation first mechanism is from the electron gun the electron beam is is released and it is electron beam is accelerated towards the anode plate due to its high positive dc voltage <coughs> which have a main purpose is to focus the electron beam when it crosses the now after focusing the electron beam it passes to the bunching cavity and this cavity is having what its input of rf input which has a positive and negative cycles both cycle positive and means this cycle and due to this cycle and this RF wave and what and the electron the interaction between this which results in the acceleration of electron okay. now see at the last there is a repeller cavity clear now see from the diagram you will see that first we will see the diagram then we will come to the theory part clear so this one is the cathode which releases the electron this electron releases in this in this manner so anode port plate is there which focuses which ex, uh, accelerate the electron speed in the forward direction and it focuses the electron beam clear those electron beam are electrons are released in spread, spreading now when it enters in a focusing so now there is a cavity this cavity is known as the buncher cavity so this cavity is a buncher cavity or it can be can as a re-entrant resonator cavity so <coughs> it has a what rf coaxial cable and some voltage is also applied around this cavity so <coughs> when the positive voltage around this cavity is there it accelerates the electrons towards the repeller and when there is a negative cycle at this plate and electron interact with that the electron get deaccelerated and when there is zero voltage means when there is a reference voltage at this at that instant the electron beam will what will remain same so due to the change in the velocity of electron due to the this 
due to this uh, positive negative charge of this plate or resonant cavity the the process velocity modulation take place and and due to the the this process is known as the velocity modulation that is <coughs> variation in electron velocity and due to the variation in electron velocity the bunching process will take place the electrons will occur in a bunch and this bunching process occurs at this point and when it to approaches toward this one and there is a what repeller this repeller is of negative charge and electrons are of very high speed which is which is approaching towards the repeller charge this high speed electrons when it approaches to the repeller charge this will repel the electron when it repels the 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 electrons will get reflected back and when it gets reflected back when it is reflected back towards this end towards the end of the cavity towards the first end of the cavity it is <coughs> towards the resonant cavity first end and that's why it is also known as the reentrant cavity now when it interacts with the positive cycle of this reentrant cycle the electron gets accelerated and it transfer its energy towards the rf signal at the of the cavity now see how see this one the electron when it reaches towards uh, when it is when it enters into the bunching cavity at time t not when it crosses the bunching cavity it is t2 and when it crosses what this cavity it is t2 and the it reaches to the what repeller side that time it is t3 now see <coughs> the working of the reflection reflex klystron can be summarized electron velocity and its density can get modulated after crossing the anode cavity due to its rf voltage now due to the momentum the electron continues to move in a negative field between cavity and the repeller now see the repeller redu reduces its velocity and finally repels back to the cavity and by this time the modulation become still more sharper when now see when <coughs> the electron beam gets reflected by the repeller the bunching becomes more sharper as compared to the earlier one so it becomes denser if this bunch of electron returns back at the first wall of the cavity means when this electron returns at the first wall of the cavity now see at the moment when it was has a positive rf voltage when the this cavity has a positive rf voltage now see when it has a positive it loses its energy the means the bunching electron the electrons energy kinetic of energy of the electrons it loses energy by transferring to the rf field the energy get transferred to the rf field because as we know that the <coughs> energy can neither be created nor be destroyed which then gets amplified and this process is known as what positive feedback this lets this lead to the sustained rf oscillation remember <coughs> that the when electron gets repelled by the repeller and when it in, in, uh, enters into the means interact with the first wall of the cavity the interaction should be what of positive cycle of rf signal that then only it transfer its energy to the rf field otherwise it will not transfer its energy to the rf field clear now see uh, again i am <coughs> repeating the same the dc voltage generates a wide range of rf noise in the voltage in the cavity due to the presence of the cavity the rf noise whose frequency responds to a correspond uh, resonant mode of the cavity that sustains and triggers the initial rf oscillation now when electron beam enters into the cavity it gets velocity modulated by this rf field because how velocity because variation of electron electron velocity 
it is known as the velocity modulation and this why how it is why it is done the variation of electron velocity because due to the interaction of the electron with the rf voltage now see how the electrons entering the cavity cap cavity gap means the when the electron entering into the cavity gap clear now see at the positive half cycle get accelerated and moves with a faster velocity clear now when the electrons entering the cavity gap at the negative half cycle it get deaccelerated de moves with the slower velocity so the electrons entering the cavity gap at zero gap voltage it moves with the unchanged velocity now see the due to the variation velocity the velocity modulated electrons then proceed to the repeller terminal and re it gets repelled from the repeller because electrons are of negative charge and repeller is also of negative that's why it repels the electrons which is coming towards the repeller as a result their velocity get decreases and finally becomes zero before reaching the terminal repeller terminal because due to the repulsion the electron velocity get decreases after a certain time what after a certain time the electron return to the cavity and finally collected by the cavity wall or other metal parts of the cavity so the in practice the total duration time taken by the individual electrons to get velocity model turn back to the are not the same means the time it takes to enter into the repeller and it will and time it enters it will not be same because here it is get deaccelerated due to the repeller and now it is what accelerated towards the positive cycle because when it interacts with the positive cycle of this rf voltage when it gets returning back then only it, it will lose its energy this is because the electron are moving with faster velocity hence higher kinetic energy penetrate more distance towards the and then then the electron moving with slow velocity as shown clear now see this one same i have already told you the working now see this one is the appellate diagram of electrons reflex klystron from which you can see now see <coughs> this is a cavity grid voltage of this one means which i am saying the rf voltage and the electron now see the if i say that this is a position of electron this electron get interact with the positive cycle it get velocity get what accelerated clear now see <coughs> here what at b reference voltage the velocity get decreases and at the c velocity get uh, velocity get re here remains same and get decreases so at some point the all electrons we will meet at this point clear and the electrons may be meet at this point so <coughs> modes will be created different type of modes will be created due to the variation of electron velocity and this different modes that also be created that also depends on the what the repeller voltage now see now see the best possible time for the electron to return to the cavity gap is when the voltage across the gap will apply maximum retardation to them clear now see <coughs> when the electron get gets repelled back the positive the best possible time for the electron to return to the cavity gap is when the voltage existing will get a maximum retardation that is when the gap voltage is positive maximum clear <coughs> now see as the bunch is to be formed exactly at the cavity point we have to adjust the repeller space and the repeller voltage the space and the this this is the repeller space and the repeller voltage should be in such should be adjust in such a way that when the electrons interact with this here there should be what positive cycle of the gap voltage this way the returning and retarded electron bunch loses its energy and gives to the rf field in the cavity therefore the when the electron when the energy delivered by certain electron to the cavity is greater than the energy it had collected then the oscillation of that frequency is signal is sustained clear now see the reflected back voltage reflected back electrons should from should form bunch just at the time they reach the cavity now see 
कंडीशन वट शुड बी द कंडीशन फॉर सस्टेन ऑसिलेशन फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज दैट द रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक इलेक्ट्रॉन्स शुड फॉर्म अ बंच मीन्स दिस इलेक्ट्रो दिस रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक इलेक्ट्रॉन शुड फॉर्म अ बंच एट द कैविटी क्लियर एट दिस मोमेंट द सिग्नल ऑफ द कैविटी शुड बीन पॉजिटिव फेस मीन्स देयर शुड बी अ पॉजिटिव देन ओनली इट विल वट लूज इट्स एनर्जी एंड प्रोवाइड इट्स एनर्जी टू द और डिलीवर डिलीवर ट्रांसफर इट्स एनर्जी टू द आर एफ फील्ड क्लियर नाउ सी देर आर द ट्रांसिट टाइम ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दीज मोड्स एंड मोड टी नॉट वट इज द मोड्स दीज आर द मोड्स विच प्रैक्टिकली विच आर इन्फिनाइट नंबर ऑफ मोड्स डेट कैन एग्जिस्ट ड्यू टू द रिपेलर वोल्टेज and different repeller voltage and each of these modes represented by n minus mu 1 by 4 t because at all time the electrons what take a different time in repelling back and uh, getting back so the transit time of the electrons is equal to t not equal to n minus mu 1 by 4 into mu t now see the lowest order mode that is 3 by 4 occurs for a maximum value of repeller voltage when there is a maximum value of repeller voltage the lower mode will exist hence for a minimum transit time of the electron in the repeller space minimum transit time of the repeller space means when there is a high value of negative voltage the electrons will get in the repeller space value of minimum time because the repulsion will be make of maximum time repulsion will be maximum and the transit time will be what of getting back into the uh, cavity it will be what minimum so at this that that is known as the lower order mode so higher order mode when the when there is a what lower repeller voltage and higher transit time of the electrons in the spell repeller space so for the lower order mode the repeller voltage the acceleration of the bunch electron on its return will be maximum because due to the higher repeller voltage and it will take a minimum transit time that's why the bunch electrons have a maximum out maximum acceleration the power output of this lower order mode is also what maximum so you can see that at lower voltage at lower repeller voltage the power output will be what you will see the power output will be what maximum clear because at this goes a negative 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 repeller voltage will get clear sorry at lower this is a higher order mode 3 3 by 4 the power output will be minimum and mode 1 3 by 4 the power output will be maximum and this one is a repeller voltage so you will see here that why there is a variation of output voltage for different modes because now you will see how why because as the mode number increases the electron bunches form very slowly because as mode number increases it will take a what it will take what higher transit time and when it takes a higher transit time the electron bunches will be formed very slowly and when the electron bunches becomes very slowly so the energy of the bunches will also have a very less power so as a result the electron get more time for the mutual repulsion and spreading will be there so the in addition the higher order mode get also due to long drift time which i have told you so it causes a electron spreading so spreading of electrons from the bunch is also known as debunching and due to the debunching the power output at the higher mode order mode will be a of minimum value clear now <coughs> see analysis of um, this one is the analysis of flex cholesterol now see initially i have told you that the electron entering from the cavity gap from the cathode to the uh, entering to the cavity at time t not v not equal to what 0.593 under root of v not into me 10 to the power c this v not is the uniform velocity and this v not is the beam voltage which is applied okay now see when the electron leaves at the cavity at z equal to d at a time t1 we see this one when the electron enter at cavity that is t not when the electrons leaving the cavity that is t1 
the voltage sorry the velocity of electron at time t1 will be equal to what v0 into me plus 1 plus me beta 1 v1 upon me twice of v0 sine of omega t1 minus me theta g by t g what is v1 v1 is the voltage which is at the applied at the gap voltage clear so now the when the electrons get returning back the overall the velocity modulated will have a net retarding electric field that is which is the of this value and the associated force equi uh, force equation related to this one will be m into d to z by d to equal to minus e into me e so on solving this equation we will get what overall round transit time will be of this value and this beta is what beta is the bunching parameter clear uh, sorry this x dash is the bunching parameter that is beta 1 equal to beta 1 into my v1 upon my twice of v0 into my theta theta naught so what are the applications of uh, reflex cholesterol first one it will act it will use as a pump source in the amplifier it can be used as a local oscillator microwave receivers for the microwave link it is providing a very low power for the micro for the setting of microwave link and it can be used as a source for the laboratory experiments the book i have which I have used which i have referred for preparing the slide that is microwave radar and rf engineering prakash kumar by prakash kumar chaturvedi <coughs> and another one is microwave device and circuits by asm liao third generation third edition thank you